Midjourney finally introduced one of the most anticipated updates of all time, and it's called Vary Region. Basically, it's a way to edit your images after Midjourney creates it. You could change portions of your image by selecting it. You could even add things to your image using just text prompts. Now here I'm inside of Discord where Midjourney is, and if you're new to Midjourney, make sure you watch my beginner's guide to Midjourney that I'll link below. But all you have to do is type in your text prompt. So all I did was I typed in imagine, and then my prompt went into this box here, which in this case was illustrate a retro inspired outfit featuring a polka dot dress. And this is the version that I got that had a polka dot dress. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna choose one of the images that it created for you and upscale it. So I upscaled this one by just pressing U3. So this is one, two, three, and four. U3 upreses it, and here's my upres version. And as soon as you upres, you'll see this new option that's called Vary Region. Okay, so these other options I've covered in previous videos, where this lets you zoom out the image, for example, in different sizes. This lets you pan left, right, up, and down, and this changes the image a little bit by giving you a new prompt box. But let me click this one. I'm gonna just click right over here. And now we're inside of a whole new editing window where we can make ton of alterations here to our image. So you have two selection options. You have this one, this is the rectangular selection option. And it selects like this. If you drag, it will select like this. I'm gonna undo that one. Then you have the lasso tool. This one is very useful. So you could go ahead and select things this way. So I could select maybe this dress. Maybe I wanna change this dress out. And then over here, let me erase this one. I changed out the sunglasses before, but here, and I'm gonna type in red dress. So because I'm typing in red dress, it's only going to change what's selected, not the rest of the image. So this face, hair, background, is all gonna stay the same. And I just have to press this arrow. You can alter your existing prompt, which will appear here, which I erased. I'm gonna press this option, this arrow to submit. And as you can see, I got four different versions. Everything is the same except the dress. I got four different variations. And I could press this option here to get four more. Or if I like any one of them, I could vary just that one. So if I, for example, let's say I like this one here, V2. So if I press V2, I'm gonna get four different alterations of V2. And I could even make sure I alter that prompt a little bit more here. So this didn't have much detail, so I could add a little bit more detail. Now let me type in forward slash imagine one more time. Now this time I'm gonna try to get a white sandy beach. So that's part of my prompt. Again, I do stretch out my prompts a little bit to get the best possible results. So if you wanna pause it here and copy this, you could go ahead and pause any of the prompts that I'm using. I'm just gonna press enter and I'm gonna get four variations of this white sandy beach. And then I'm gonna show you how to add things to an image. So with this option, you could alter existing things inside of your image by selecting it, but you could also select a portion and add things to it too. And I got four different options here. Let's say I like number four. So I'm gonna press U4, that's gonna upscale this one. So then I could use the very region selection one more time. And here we go, we got the upscale. So I'm gonna click this. It's gonna open the new edit window one more time. And usually it's gonna show you the entire prompt over here or you could just go ahead and erase everything. I'm gonna just, in this case, delete everything. I'm gonna use the lasso tool this time, and I'm gonna try to put a boat over here. So I'm gonna select this whole area here, and I'm not even gonna describe the boat. I'm just gonna say boat to see what it comes up with. Again, if you want something very specific, make sure with these prompts, you type in something very specific. But let's see what it comes up with. I could always alter it in a follow-up prompt. I'm gonna press the arrow here and give it a second. And as you could see, I got four different boats exactly where I selected here. And this is what I was going for here. This is more like the boat I was looking for. So I could go ahead and up res number three or get different variations. In this case, I like it exactly as is. So I'm gonna go ahead and up res it. Now here, I like to choose the very subtle option to get four different versions if I wanna see what it's gonna come up with. Or I could go back here in this edit window, make any changes. So remember, you could select any section here typing whatever text prompt and it could add things to that section or you could choose an area like I could choose this boat for example and see different variations or maybe even this house over here. Now this very region option sometimes you'll see it called in painting in other apps. This is a fantastic tool I've been waiting for for a long time so I hope you find it useful as well. I'll see you next time.